here we are in Eclipse. This is one of many uh, IDEs or development, interactive development environments. Uh, this is one of the more commonly used or one of the more popular ones. And what you see in front of us is some very complex Java code. Um, we'll make some quick changes just so that we can see that. Uh, but this would be the way I would create the business logic components of my application. I can also now create my jobs. So you can see uh, the format and keep in mind, you know, this is, happens to be the name of the job. There's some others here that we'll see later on for future reference. For those of you familiar with uh, many of the DevOps tools uh, that are out in the market, uh, you'll, you'll know that developers are very, very fond of doing what they want to do in the tool that they want to use. And with the power of control and automation APIs, you can see they can manage all the source for their business logic and the job control logic from one location. So Joe, could you show us how we build and deploy this? In, uh, in this situation, just a couple of jobs defined. So this is a build job in Jenkins. And again, uh, as Jason mentioned, normally, as soon as I did the commit or the save, that would have automatically triggered the build. For the purposes of our demo, we want to kind of slow it down a little bit. I'm going to do the build manually. So I've requested the build. You can see the progress bar here. And already, you can see that the job has run because we have not only built the application, but actually deployed it and pushed it into the places it needs to be in order to run and execute and perform the tests. Yeah, so the ops guys are really happy because what they get here is a high quality app the first time, every time. And why? Because the developers are actually utilizing the API for Control M the first time to build their application and the control logic. So instead of them building custom scripts to start with to try to figure out how that job control flow might work, they're actually using the power of the platform in Control M to do that. So Joe, could you show us how those, jo those jobs show up inside of Control M? Sure. So if you remember some of the job names that I pointed out, we can see them here. And as part of the deployment, we actually pushed them into the Control M environment. They started execution, and what we see in front of us is the successful execution of those jobs. Um, but you know, Robin, it doesn't just stop with jobs as code for us. Yeah. Uh, part of our innovation plan at BMC is to drive access to the power of BMC solutions to developers through a common set of APIs. So stay tuned for things like changes as code or incidents as code in the environment. 